Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow Effects once again, and in this video I'm going to go through the installation of our Ableton Live MIDI controller for Stream Deck Devices package. This is the Mac version of the installation process. If you're looking for the Windows version, there's the link in the description below. So we're going to start with the Stream Deck software here, and in particular we're in Stream Deck version 5 uh, with the new store here. So you click on the store icon and you go to the left hand side pane here, click plugins, and in the search box over the top of the right here, we're going to enter MIDI. And it filters the results for us. And you see it here, this is the one we want here, MIDI, and we're just going to click install. Say so, okay. And it just takes a second. And that's it. It's installed and we can close this window. And the next thing we're going to do is set up our ports. So we're on the Mac, so we use Audio MIDI Setup, and you can find that in your Applications folder, Utilities folder. There it is, Audio MIDI Setup. And uh, you, you may have these ports, uh, um, but this is the one we're after here, the IEC uh, driver port here. So we click that, and we're presented with this dialog box. Uh, currently there's no ports that are available here, so we're going to leave this device name blank. Very important. You have to leave that blank. And we're going to click on the plus icon down here. So clicking on that it gives us a new port. We're going to click on this to rename it. Now the case sensitivity is very important on this. So we're going to type in Mackie Dada. Capital M, capital D. We'll click the plus sign again and do a second one. And click on it, change the name. And this will be Da to Mackie. So capital D to capital M, Da to Mackie. Click the plus sign again. And we'll rename this. And this will be Stream Deck to Da Track. So capital S, capital D, capital T. Just like that. And we'll click the plus sign again. Click to rename. And this will be Da Track to Stream Deck. So capital D, capital T, to capital S, capital D. So Da Track to Stream Deck. Just like that. And then we, when we finish that, we click apply. And we're done. We've added our ports. Now, the next step you're going to do is launch Ableton Live. And we're going to go to Live Preferences. And on the left hand pane here, we're going to go over to MIDI. And under Control Services, under the MIDI section here, under Control Services, we're going to pull down and we're going to go down to Mackie Control. And for the input, it will be Mackie to DAW, and the output, DAW to Mackie. And we'll do a second control surface. And this one we'll just make advance. And we'll do Stream Deck to DAW Track, and DAW Track to Stream Deck. So that's how we should be set up there. Now you want to uh, make a few choices on these checkboxes here. So for the Mackie Control input, we're going to check off Track and Remote. The DAW to Mackie will select Track. And the Advanced Input, we're going to select Track and MPE. And down here, for the Mackie Control output, the DAW to Mackie, select Track. And for the advanced output, we'll also select track. And that's all you have to do here. Close that out. And Ableton now has the ports assigned. We're going to jump back out to the desktop. And we'll uh, pull open our download folder. This is the folder you would have downloaded from Sideshow FX. Our Ableton Live MIDI controller for Stream Deck folder. Inside here, there is a MIDI graphics folder. And under the Mac folder, it's called Traveliga Spell. 
this is the folder that has the graphics for the MIDI controls in your Stream Deck profile. We need to put this in a very specific place. So we need to put it in your Documents folder. So at the root of the Documents folder, which is your Macintosh hard drive, Users, your username, and Documents. So you will click and drag this into there. I already have it there, so I'm not going to do that. Mine is already right here. So you just click and drag and drop that into your Documents. Now the next thing to do is we're going to import our Stream Deck profile. And you'll notice in your download folder under Mac, there are two profiles listed here. One is for your regular 15 key device and one is for the XL device. So depending on which device you're using, that is the profile you will import. Importing is very easy in Stream Deck. Just go to the gear menu, go to the bottom, import, and you'll navigate to your Ableton download folder, Stream Deck Profiles, Mac, and whichever device you're on. I'm on the XL, so I would import that one. I've already got it imported, and this is what the main page looks like. Now you will have noticed that there is a two copy folder. Now what this is, these are two more profiles, regular 15 key and the XL device. The difference is it will take the entire profile and it packs it into one folder. I'll just quickly show you what that looks like. And this is what you're presented with is that entire profile is in one folder here. So we double click this, it, op it opens up the, the, the same profile. The reason for this is you can take this folder, click on it, right click, hit copy, and then go to any other profile that, yeah, that you want to put this in. So I'll open up a blank one here and select any free key here that doesn't have an assignment already right click and paste. And now I've got my Ableton Live MIDI controller profile in whatever other profile I want to use it in. So maybe you've set up your own profile and this is just a way to access this pack easily rather than, than having to switch out between different profiles. Double click it and there it is there. So that's the reason for the two copy profiles that are listed here. And that's it. You're all good to go. As always, you can check out our support page. Should you have any concerns or any dif difficulties, you should be able to find some answers there. And once again, thanks very much for downloading the pack. We really appreciate uh, the support from the, the creative community. You guys have been wonderful to us, and we really appreciate you joining us on this journey. Until next time, thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.